Hello and a warm welcome to all. In today's episode of Renally Important, we'll be navigating the intricate labyrinth of lab values related to dialysis. Should you find this discussion beneficial, do remember to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more comprehensive health content. Without further ado, let's unravel the mysteries of dialysis lab work. Our journey begins with hemoglobin and hematocrit, or HGB and HCT. These two are key indicators of your red blood cell count. A dip in these values could point towards anemia, which can cause consistent tiredness and weakness. Conversely, higher values could be a sign of dehydration, indicating a need for better fluid balance. Next up is the complete blood count, or CBC, which offers a panoramic view of your blood cells. This test is instrumental in identifying potential infections, anemia, or clotting disorders by analyzing your red and white blood cells and platelets. We then come to intact parathyroid hormone, abbreviated as IPTH. This hormone plays a crucial role in managing your calcium and phosphorus levels, both of which are vital for bone health. Disturbances in IPTH can result in bone pain, fractures, or even vascular calcification. Iron transfer and saturation and ferritin form the triad of iron assessment. Low iron levels can lead to anemia, while high levels may indicate inflammation or iron overload, which can harm organs such as the heart and liver. Calcium and phosphorus, the dynamic duo of bone health, must maintain a delicate balance to prevent bone and cardiovascular complications. We now venture into the realm of dialysis adequacy with SpeakATV, URR, BUN, and creatinine. These values evaluate the efficiency of your dialysis treatment in removing waste products. Lower values might mean inadequate dialysis, which could allow toxins to build up and affect your well-being. Vitamin D25-hydroxy is integral for bone health and immune function. Insufficient levels can lead to bone pain and muscle weakness, highlighting the importance of regular monitoring and supplementation. Next, we focus on sodium and potassium, two crucial electrolytes for heart health. Imbalances in these electrolytes can disrupt your heart rhythm, leading to severe complications. Albumin, a protein found in your blood, is an indicator of nutritional status and inflammation. Lower levels might suggest malnutrition or chronic inflammation, requiring dietary changes and further investigation. Magnesium, another key electrolyte, is vital for muscle and nerve function. Any imbalances can result in symptoms like muscle cramps, irregular heartbeat or even seizures, emphasizing the need for careful monitoring. Alkaline phosphatase, an enzyme associated with bone health, is another important value. Elevated levels may point to liver or bone issues, necessitating a comprehensive evaluation to identify the root cause. Lastly, we'll discuss hepatitis B and C markers, crucial for detecting viral infections. Regular monitoring of these markers is essential to ensure the safety of patients undergoing dialysis due to their increased susceptibility to infections. Understanding these lab values is a step towards actively participating in your healthcare journey. If your values are too low or too high, it's essential to collaborate with your healthcare team to make necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. If you found this discussion insightful, please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more in-depth health discussions. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.